Hi, it's John the Pool Expert, and today we are going to be changing a Jandy JXI 400 natural gas heater, and we're going to convert it to propane. Um, this is the kit for the propane. And this is the model number. Um, if you need to order it, it's not in the book. So I'm going to convert this today to propane, and let's go over what's in the in the box. So you're going to get a sticker that just tells you that it's uh, propane instead of natural gas. You get um, a new bezel that goes on the top of the fan. You get a little uh, brass washer, a couple screws, and you get an orange uh, piece that goes around the gas pipe over here just so that you know that it's natural that it's propane instead of natural gas and that's it that's what comes in there so what you're going to need is you're going to need a 5 16th nut driver um, also i recommend getting a like a stubby either a 5 16th or a phillips and a um, pair of channel locks or a, pair, or a pipe wrench So first thing you want to do is you want to remove the cover on the side that the gas line comes out of. So the other side is the electrical side, this side is the gas side. There's four screws, five sixteenths, Just, I use my drill, you can also use a Phillips head if you don't have a five sixteenths. Put your screws where you're not going to lose them. I'm going to remove this back piece. Okay, inside of here, um, we're going to be removing this black bezel and replacing it with a white one. Uh, and we're going to be uh, loosening this union up and replacing the, um, the little brass washer that's inside of there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this bezel. And that's where this stubby screwdriver comes in because on this side there's not very much room but you can get a stubby screwdriver in there and you can loosen that up and then on this side we're going to loosen up this one and then this just slides off and you want to mix the tubes up so the best thing to do is just Pull one off and replace it. And then it's quite a good idea to save the parts from this if you ever need to do the opposite and convert uh, propane to a natural gas. And that slides back in there. Just tighten it back up on both sides. Nice and tight. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this union. Is it's easiest to do this before the the gas is hooked up. That way you have some flexibility here. So you're just going to loosen this union up. Once you get it started, it comes off pretty easy. Just push that over to the side. The inside of here, you'll see. A little washer and then what you're going to do is stick something in there in that hole and just pull it out okay and we'll get out our new one it's because of the little o-ring that goes on it so you're going to put that little o-ring on there and the difference between the propane and natural gas is the propane is it's got a smaller hole because propane is a, is a higher pressure than the natural gas. 
So it's going to restrict it a little bit. I'm just going to slide it in there. It's the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which direction it sits. And you're just going to push it into that union until it snaps in. Tighten that union back up. Get it nice and snug so there's no leaks. And then you can pull this guy off if you want to. This isn't really going to affect how it works. This is just something extra. That you can do. Just slide that orange thing on there, tuck it in, and that's it. Okay, when you're all finished, put your put your cover back on. Put your screws back on. You're all set. Okay, so that's how you change it out um, from natural gas to propane. It's pretty similar on Pintair products as well. So um, uh, just leave messages in the comment, comment box if you guys have any questions about anything. And please subscribe. Thank you.